Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest confirmed transfer video I have made since the January transfer window closed. Now, we are not even into the transfer window already, okay, but big signings are already happening. We have, okay, one club's record transfer signing already, all right? We're not even in the transfer window yet, and big clubs are making big money moves already. Now, because so many players and so many transfers are happening, I need to bring another one to you guys ASAP, all right? I'm thinking maybe Wednesday. How does that sound with you lot? If you'd be interested in seeing that, drop a like and a thumbs up down below for another transfer video on Wednesday. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. There's loads of players, loads of stuff happening. And also, guys, what I'm going to be doing today is featuring some stats, okay, from one football. You guys can check it out and download it in the description down below. It is free of charge to download. And like I say, over there and stuff, we're going to take a look at the stats of each player, okay, well, a few of the players from this episode on that app. Now, if you want to download that in the description down below, one football, free of charge to download. But let's get in, okay, to the first player, the biggest one. We're going to start big, all right, because you guys have been showing lots of support in these episodes. I'm going to go big for the first player. First one is Bernardo Silva to Manchester City. Now, this guy, okay, could break the record transfer fee for Man City. He could also be the record transfer fee for the whole transfer window this year because, you know, unless we see like a Griezmann deal or something like that, 60 odd potential million pounds is a lot of money. Now, we are believed that it's a 43 million pound fee, okay, that's been agreed for Bernardo Silva currently. That's what Man City have paid for him. Now, you may be like, Rossi, that may not be, you know, that's not the record transfer fee for Man City. You know, what about De Bruyne and stuff like that? What about even Raheem Sterling. Well, ladies and gents, apparently there are lots of rumours and stuff in his contract, okay? Lots of clauses that means that fee could be set up. Man City could be potentially paying about 60 odd million pounds for Bernardo Silva, depending on, I don't know, his appearances, how many goals he scores, you know, whatever's in this contract. Now, Bernardo Silva, highly rated player in Europe, had a very, very good season at Monaco. Now, here are his stats, okay? There's, there's pretty interesting stats, League One stats, okay? He's got eight goals and nine assists for the league, which is pretty good. Now, he actually played 37 out of 38 games for Monaco in the league, which is pretty, uh, that's pretty awesome. These stats are all in one football. Like I say, guys, you can download in the description if you want to. But yes, he's he just he's relishing the opportunity to actually play or, you know, be managed by Pep Guardiola. He's come out and said he's like, one of the best teams in the world. Now, he actually played against Manchester City twice in the Champions League this season. So maybe that's where Pep Guardiola thought, you know, that is some player. Maybe that was the final, like, yeah, we want to sign him in the summer. Maybe it was. So he's left his Monaco career on a high because they've had an incredible season, won the league, done really well in Champions League. Maybe it was time for him move on, I don't know, he's only 22 years of age, so, you know, he's got a long career ahead of him, and he's already had a pretty good one so far, so credit to him. Now, for the second player, it's another forward, okay, one that actually happened about, I think about six days ago now, okay, but obviously, you know, I only make one of these a week in a minute, that's why I probably need to make more, so I need to keep more up to date with these. Jermaine Defoe to Bournemouth from Sunderland. So, yes, what a season he had at Sunderland this year, we'll talk about his stats later on in this, obviously, bit. So, actually, what happened with him was his contract at Sunderland, okay, there was a clause in it that allowed him to leave if Sunderland got relegated. And obviously that has. And Sky Sports are saying that he has actually agreed a three-year deal at Bournemouth for a room of 65 grand a week. So that's not bad. And actually, believe it or not, it's not the first time he's played for Bournemouth. He played there earlier on in his career in loan. So he, know, he knows a little bit about the club or he knows about the staff or whatever. Now we're going to take a look at his Premier League stats and one football as well. 15 goals for him this year, which is still very, very good for, you know, a team that's been relegated. He's scoring 15 goals. That's pretty impressive. He's got a couple of assists and he's played pretty much every Premier League game for Sunderland this year. So, they are his one football stats. It is in the description if you want to download it. He's done very, very well this year. And like I say, because he's done so well, he's earned himself a transfer to Bournemouth. Another three years in the Premier League. Another chance for him to extend his goal tally in the Prem, which is still, which is actually very impressive at the minute. So, yeah, that is two big transfers so far. Bernardo Silva, record transfer one, potentially, you know, if the fees get added on. Jermaine Defoe, obviously a Premier League veteran. Now, the third player, ladies and gents, is uh, one of the most surprising transfers I I've ever heard, right? It's a, it's a big one. It's a very, very big one. Actually, in fact, it's 40 odd million pounds, so it's one of the biggest you're going to see. Now, Vincius Jr. is actually signed for Real Madrid. This guy's 16, that's right, 16 years of age, and he's signed for Real Madrid. Now, the rumor of the fee is 45 million euros, I believe. 45 million euros, and the transfer effectively in July 2018. So, like, it's a pre thing. They can't officially sign him until he's a little bit older or something like that, but it's like a pre done deal. He can't go anywhere else. Barcelona actually offered him a deal. His agents actually come out and said that Barcelona offered more money, okay, for him. We're going to pay him more money or whatever. But he still chose Real Madrid. But this guy's not played. He's only played, like, one senior game or something like that so far. A 16-year-old, and he's been signed for 40 odd million pounds. So, 16-year-old, one professional game, and 40-odd million pounds. That is why football's gone a bit mad, ladies and gents. We've seen possibly.
name, if not the biggest 16-year-old transfer ever. I know Odegaard, when he was signed, uh, obviously that was, a, that was a different story, but it was very similar to this, I suppose. Now, he will be joined in the summer of 2018, okay? So not this summer, next summer, but the deal's already done, confirmed. As you guys can see from Real Madrid's official Twitter page. Now, this is one for the Premier League new boys, okay? Brighton have signed a new player, Pascal Gross. Now, obviously, I don't know how many Brighton fans watch my videos and stuff, but I thought I'd feature one for you lot, you know? I thought I will, you know? There's an English team, Premier League team now. It's worth a mention. Now, the 25-year-old is agreed a four-year deal, okay, with Brighton, and he will effectively join on the 10th of June. So, we're, we're past that already. He made 32 appearances in the Bundesliga this year, having a very, very good season. Now, Christian actually come out and said, we are delighted that Pascal was opted to sign for us and made interest from a number of clubs from the Premier League. So, a lot of clubs wanted to sign this guy, but he decided to go to Brighton. I'd be interested to know what made him pick Brighton, to be fair. You know, what out of all the clubs he got offered, what made him pick Brighton? I'd, be, I'd love to know. So, he scored, he had quite a good season, scored quite a few goals, four or five goals or whatever like that. But, yeah, the team he played for last year did get relegated, so that is why he's probably moved on. But, to the Premier League new boys, Brighton, I hope he does well, and I hope to see him soon in the Prem. Last but not least, the player that we pretty much knew was confirmed last week, but we can 100 million confirm percentage it, alright? Which doesn't even make sense. I mean, that is, that is Zabaleta to West Ham. We know this is done deal. We know, that's why I've left it to the end. It's not as interesting as Bernardo Silva, for example. West Ham to sign defender on a free transfer. That's done deal. Well, that's a done deal. We've got not two signed, is it? So, Paolo Zabaleta signs for West Ham, okay, after leaving Manchester City. So, there's no money involved. His contract expired at Man City. He signed for West Ham on a two-year deal. It's a pretty simple, simple situation. What is there, Man City's incredible one, the Premier League and stuff like that. Now, it's time to just maybe, you know, enjoy the last few years he's got in football. And hopefully, West Ham can give him that enjoyment. Still a pretty good standard, isn't it? It's still a pretty big club. You know, a lot of players, when they get to end their career, they move on to different leagues and stuff. But he said, no, I want to stay in the Premier League. I want to live in London. So fair play to him. I respect that. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Drop a like and a thumbs up down below. I'd be greatly appreciated for 3,000 likes for another episode on Wednesday. Like I say, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. I can't wait to bring it to you. Husband, as always, guys. Hope you know. Hopefully, you have a good bank holiday weekend. Peace.